786, weekly level, value area high. That's all you need. <laughs> Next, <laughs> move out of here. This is no financial advice. This is only for educational purposes so that you learn how to use these tools for your own trading decisions. Yeah, so I'm viewing December a bit more calmly, especially now. What can 24 do? <laughs> that should be a very, very exciting year. I think next year we're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So make sure to stay tuned to these updates because uh, I think there's going to be a lot to talk about. Well, one thing we can already talk about is the fact that not only that yearly level, but this monthly level here, I'm just going to draw it for you. This one up here has not been reached yet. So it could be that December, yeah, we have 13 days and 15 hours left, that December ends like that and doesn't even reach that monthly level. So you call this a front run, yeah? The price almost got there, but turned around. And that's highly suspicious. Perhaps it's something that next year we'll start doing. In other words, January maybe reaches that area, does whatever it needs to do. This area starting here up to the 50K is a very nice area of resistance. And we've covered this on a, on a regular basis as well. But for now, as it stands, that level has not been reached. And now what? Yeah? Well, this is uh, now we can turn on the lines again that I had here. So that's the monthly level that has not been reached yet, but it's definitely still on the menu. That's an old monthly level from 2022 that I'm using as a reference point. This one here, not because it gives a special reaction necessarily. That's yeah, been traded through plenty of times. One, two, three, four, five. So in five months after that price has gone through there but it's a nice way to you know orientate yourself and see okay are we flipping resistances to support and the answer is yes yeah right there boop and then the final week of november and uh beginning of december it managed to, to break through. okay so that's oh yeah so that would be the weekly time frame we have a fresh weekly level of resistance at 43841 that's very nice fresh is always good untapped uh, and then we have a whole bunch of daily levels that we can also play with and now that we're on the daily time frame here you can already see ah look at that the green line that this guy is drawing actually makes sense yes it does resistance 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 bloop, close above it see up takes off again yeah so the moment that this happens you have to pay attention that's a daily candle close above a level that has been a huge problem and how was price approach how was price approaching this level with higher lows higher lows higher lows higher lows higher lows yeah and this is your typical textbook ascending triangle kind of stuff. In other words, price is coiling up against a horizontal resistance, pushing, pushing, pushing until it finally pops up. So in this way, a very classic one. Uh, no fake outs, no, uh, oh, I'm going to break up and then pff, go down, which Bitcoin loves to do, admittedly. <laughs> so this one was a classic one. Great. Um, so when you see those daily, can this is a higher time frame close, you have to start thinking, hmm, does it really make sense to short this? I'm not sure. Yeah. It's much easier to wait for price to come down back into the range and then think about stuff like that. Yeah? What else we got here? We've got a daily level here, another one here, another one here. I just turned them off because I found them a bit annoying to have so many lines on the chart and I'd rather have not too many. And one, I guess I'll just redraw it. One could be this one here. Not because I expect anything special from it, but because it was formed as a daily level of support and held as support also over the weekend and today prices pushing past it yeah so locally speaking if you want to think about this daily level up here this daily level up here and ultimately the weekly level up here for a possible move in this range up here then this daily level at 41245 must be reclaimed now our price has to climb above it again hold it and then it can start moving up here again and that would be your most local range not most local, you can go into the five minute and the one minute and then find other ranges. But um, that's a, a way to view what we have now recently. And you can also, I'm going to include that one, let's see. You can also pull uh, using the fixed range tool, the month of December. Yeah, that's first of December, the entire month. That's your value area high, exactly at the weekly level. Ding, 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 pay attention. And now we're at the value area low and we'll look at what price is doing holding it as support, yeah? So that's an important support. That daily level, if it's flipped, starts looking like a possible bullish rotation to the upside. Well, bullish, just a rotation to the upside. Forget the words bullish and bearish. They're more confusing than anything else. That point of control is gonna be a problem. That is resistance as it stands. Yeah, at 40, what is this? 41, what, 41.9, okay? That is resistance. That's gonna be a problem. If it beats that, great. Next daily level. If it beats that, great. Next daily level. And then there's your uh, possible end target for that rotation. Yeah. Of course, it can go higher and hit the monthly level. I'm not saying it can't. 
But um, yeah, if we just look at this, there you go. 786, weekly level, bad area high. That's all you need. <laughs> Next, <laughs> move out of here. This is no financial advice. This is only for educational purposes so that you learn how to use these tools for your own trading decisions. I'm never going to short at a place like this. Yeah, on a high time frame like this for a swing trade. That's not a place where I want to swing trade. This was a place to look for a short position for a swing trade. And I did, and I took it, but now it's over. Yeah, we're at the value area low. Oh, but it could go lower to here. Yes, it can. So if you have some running from that position, great, good for you. I don't want to open new positions down here, new short positions, because that makes no sense for me. Yeah, the move down has already happened within this range, clearly defined by the fixed range tool. Yeah, look, we can go on the four hour and see that too. Is it looking good? Well, on the four hour, we can see that it definitely does not look good. Why am I saying that? Well, value area low is holding, but look at what it's doing to the daily level. Yeah, let's actually zoom in on that because that's important. And uh, you see that? That's why I told you this daily level is important. It's spending time below this level. Of course, it could be the usual trap of, you know, short positions opening down here, but price not actually going down. And locally speaking, you can be like, oh, well, look at this, look at this. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, George Special. My goodness. So this is not a place where you generally look for a short position, or at least I don't. This is a place where possibly a long position can work out. Invalidation would be, of course, if you make a new low, well, then market structure continues to the downside because that's what you have uh, in front of you since it came from up here, right? Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower high. Look at that. Oh, that was a nice one. Look at that. And another lower low. So for now, it is bearish. So what needs to happen to start considering that weekly level up there, at least to start considering it, for price needs to start doing this and start moving up here, okay? If that's the case, then we can start thinking about our rotation to the upside. If not, and this continues to make lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, well then, that's the old monthly level, but much more interesting is this year. That's a very interesting daily level because it's the one that was left behind when they started moving up. And this is a, just like the monthly level, a very nice resistance support flip area. So the same thing I said last time, traveling back to this area and then bouncing would be a nice bullish retracement. Yeah, locally bearish, but in the high time frame, bullish. So that's still definitely a, a very nice possibility. This was a pretty cool dramatic pivot to the point of control down here. I remember that. This lines up nicely as well. Yeah, or monthly level, got your seven one, your George special, the daily level, and the and this area as possible support. Yeah. So if this picks up speed and actually breaks away from this value area that we have up here, which value area? Let me show you again. Right there. Boom, boom. That's your value area low. That's the important support right now. If this is lost and it starts, of course, it can do a swim failure part of these lows. That's another possibility. But this is a very, very nice area where price moved very quickly up at the beginning of the month and it can move very quickly back down to here where there's more juice, more meat. Yeah. So these would be your high time frame possible areas of interest. Yeah. Elevate your mastery in trading. Join the Safe House Vanguard today.